hundreds of Afghan security forces flee across to Tajikistan as Islamic military forces of Taliban seize power in various Afghan districts. Marvi Dauphin will tell us why live. Yes, Marvi. Kath, Taliban militants have rapidly advanced through the northern areas of Afghanistan to seize power. Now that Britain will soon seize its two-decade deployment of military support and the U.S. military withdrawing from the main Bagram Air Base. On Saturday, more than 300 members of the government's military forces have crossed the borders to Tajikistan to escape. Adakshan Provincial Council member Mohibul Rahman states that the Taliban outnumber the government troops, pushing key districts and capitals to surrender without a fight. Notably, Governor Hasti Muhammad of the Panjwai district in the southern province of Kandahar states the district fell just two days after the U.S. and NATO forces withdrew from the airbase, where a 20-year operation against Taliban and Al-Qaeda allies were held. Kath, there are no announcements yet as to when the final batch of British troops will leave the country, but there are beliefs that the departure will be very quiet and low-key. UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson is expected to address Parliament this Tuesday to confirm plans surrounding future diplomatic and residual military forces in Afghanistan. Special forces arrived by helicopter on Sunday to attempt reclaiming some districts. However, the security forces managed to secure only a number of areas. The Taliban now control one-third of the 421 districts of Afghanistan. Kath? Marvi, do we know what the comments or expected actions from U.S. President Joe Biden is? Kath, at the moment, uh, President Biden has not given specifics as yet, but it has been announced by his press secretary, Jen Psaki, that the last uh, U.S. troops will probably be pulled out by the end of next month. Back to you, Kath. Thank you, Marv Dilfin, for that live report from Perth, Australia.